Hi everyone, my name is Dheeraj. Welcome to this blog. So the news coming out of India, COVID wave two has been, um, you know, it's just difficult to put words around it. Uh, lack of hospital beds, lack of oxygen, uh, vaccine shortage. You know, it's too many, too many, too many issues. And of which this um, shortage of vaccines that that surprises me the most. You know, we're the world's largest manufacturer of vaccines, and how come that is this uh, incredible shortage of vaccines in India, right? So that's the issue which I want to peel back and look into it deeper. So in order to understand, I'm going to make a basic assumption that the government of India, the central government, like any other government in the world, uh, went into this with an overarching goal of to vaccinate as many people as possible, as fast as possible. Maximum coverage, fast as possible way, right? So that being the goal, I'm trying to understand then how much do we need? You know, what's the demand side? Uh, how much do we need? How fast do we need it? That's the two questions on the demand side. Then we'll look at the supply side of uh, how much are we buying? How much can we manufacture? So let's dive in. A population of India, 1.4 billion of which um, age 16 and above is you know, approximately 900 million. That means two shots equates to we need 1.8 billion doses of vaccine, right? If you consider wastage and stuff, it's approximately 2 billion doses. That's what we need for simplification purposes. Just think about it as we need 2 billion uh, doses. And uh, how fast do we need it? You know, of course, there's no point in vaccinate, vaccinating everyone over like three years. You know, that, that's too, too, too slow. So uh, if we really say we need to cover everyone or max coverage by end of this year, 2021, um, uh, subtracting the number of doses that are already been given, we need another 1.65 to 1.7 billion doses. That translates to 205 million doses per month or 7 million doses per day, right? 7 million doses per day from now through end of the year will mean we will vaccinate most of the country by end of the year. Now, that's the best case plan, right? If we're going to plan like that and go about it, uh, we've all been part of, you know, uh, home improvement projects or projects at work and stuff like that. We know that there's going to be delays. So if you plan by end of the year, if that's the plan, it likely going to, uh, you know, by, by, by March or April of next year, we have a chance. So that needs 7 million doses. Now, that's um, before we say that, okay, we can do that. We'll have to look at how are we doing right now? Right now, we're averaging 2 million doses per day, right? Um, so that pace, if that pace continues, the max coverage or herd immunity, the full coverage in India, we will accomplish it by in two years and two months or by 2023 March. Now, that's unacceptable. You know, we cannot, that's just waiting for two years and two months, plus the delays and stuff. We're looking at two and a half years. Um, it cannot be, cannot, that just cannot happen for the world's largest manufacturer of vaccines, right? That is just not a viable way. Um, the best average, so best performance so far earlier in the month of April, you know, we were doing like three and a half million per day. So if we, if we accomplish that now on out, uh, when I say 3.5 million average per day, that means some days it could be four, four and a half, some days it could be two, two and a half. But on average, if we hit that 3.5 from now on out, will be done um, in like a year and three months. So we're talking like call it July of 2022. Still not great, but definitely better than 2023 at the current pace. So, so you know, think about, okay, bare minimum, we need to get to that 3.5, you know, per day back. You know, what is, what is maybe a, 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 an accomplishable, maybe an objective, you know, uh, to put out in front if the government says, you know, if we, uh, our goal is 5 million per day, you know, that's 150 million per month. Uh, that will mean we would be done uh, by like March um, of 2022. So we'll be done by like March of 2022, which, you know, a couple more months here or there. You know, practically that means by April, May will be done, right? So remember that number, 5 million per day, 150 million uh, needed per month. 150 is what we need per month. Now let's look at the supply side. Uh, so two key questions on the supply side is how much are we buying and how much can we actually make? 
So the first thing is how much have you ordered for the next three months? So April 28th, government of India said they ordered 160 million for the next three months. They have a stockpile of 25 million doses altogether. They have 185 million. Uh, I said before we need 150 per month. So that is 450 for three months. So 450 minus 185 equal to uh, 265, right? 265 is the gap. And that's the gap which looks like right now they're expecting state governments and private organizations to, uh, you know, cover for it. So now, uh, you know, straight away I have two questions, you know. Number one, will all state governments step up? And um, it doesn't help to have, you know, Maharashtra, vaccinate 25 percent of the population and gujarat to vaccinate you know 90 percent of the population that's not herd immunity you know that's not going to work so you have to ensure that all states will step up aggressively with the same objective of vaccinating their entire population uh, as a logistical challenge and then the second thing is um if you put yourself in the shoes of someone in the state government uh, you need to know how much private hospitals will order, right? In order for you to figure out how much, okay, I know this is what's coming from center. Uh, I need to know how much do I need to order. So how much is a private hospital going to order? I can subtract that and get my number. Otherwise, I might end up over ordering. Um, you, you know, if you, if you, you know, if you, uh, the way things work, the bureau tape, red tape in India, that practically means the state governments are likely going to wait and see how much the private hospitals are going to buy before placing their orders, which compromises one of the key principles which is how fast can we you know vaccinate our entire population um, next key question is how much are we manufacturing so we have two major institutes manufacturing vaccines in india serum institute you know punavala's thing uh, bharat biotech so serum institute said for now they are averaging in the 70 million per day uh, sorry 70 million per month and bharat biotech is about 15 to 20 million per month so Put it together, that's 90 million per month total. Um, we know that we need 150 million per month, you know, if we need to hit that 5 million. So from a manufacturing side, so there is clearly there is a 60 million uh, gap in what the country can manufacture. Um, frankly, that's the point which it, it's just so difficult for me to um, understand, right? We knew it's not like India's population turned out to be 1.4 billion like um, right now. It was like that, you know, for, for, for years. Uh, we know that, you know, vaccinating most number of people as fast as possible within like, you know, 12 to 15 months is the best way to do it. Um, and if it's not, so Punawala has been, it's, it's, it's actually written even in their website and everywhere that their capacity is like 70 million per month. So the simple math of you're going to do 70 and the other guys, Bharat Biotech is going to do 90. If you're going to go, if you're going to only get like, we need 1.8 billion doses and you're going to make 90, uh, let's round it up to 100. If you're going to make 100 million doses per month, you are starting up the gate with the, with the program, which is going to drag on for more than two years. So I'm not sure how someone just sat there and thought that was, that was fine. So what, what are my what are my final thoughts on this? My final thoughts on this is, you know, we need a, we need to agree on our overarching principle um, is the goal to vaccinate as many people as possible as fast as possible. Then you have to evaluate every single proposal that has been put in front of you for the decisions that you have to make. You have to seize that decision helping those two key objectives, which is max coverage, fastest coverage, or it's going to be a hindrance to those two, right? So um, I would say if, if there is a proposal that we're going to split our procurement half and half between or uh, between state and then state, and then the state will split it into, you know, whatever ratio through private and state, and 28 states are going to go order, and then the central government is going to order, and we know that there is already a supply shortage and stuff, is that decision going to help or hinder your objective to max coverage and fastest coverage? You know the answer to that. Um, you know that um, if you're putting like three different price points, is that going to help or hinder um, the, your objective, right? So th those are the kind of questions 
um, and the decision framework I think you would need to do. So um, my, you know, thought, my hope would be that uh, the, the the governments, you know, will, will sit together and figure out, you know, this is, uh, uh, this is those, focus on those two objectives, max coverage, um, fastest coverage, and then make decisions um, which will help that and not hinder that. Thank you very much for listening and appreciate your time.